In the shimmering tapestry of our cinematic memories, there exist certain gems that time refuses to dim, and among these, a true treasure stands tall, The Golden Voyage of Sinbad, a 1973 masterpiece that ignited our imagination and sailed us across uncharted seas of wonder. Can you still recall that first enchanting encounter? The flicker of excitement in your eyes as the screen unveiled a world of magic and mystery. Perhaps it was the daring Sinbad, his courage and anchor in a tempest of sorcery, or the hypnotic dance of fantastical creatures that wove an indelible spell around your heart. Ah, those moments of unbridled awe, when the ordinary world dissolved, and you were adrift in a realm where danger and allure walked hand in hand. The clash of swords, the siren call of untamed oceans, the distant promise of a fabled fountain, these are the fragments that imprint themselves upon the canvas of memory, shaping the adventurers we would become. But let us journey beyond the tapestry, delving into the labyrinthine corridors of trivia and tidbits that bring new hues to this timeless tale. Did you know that the iconic score, A Symphony of Magic, was crafted by none other than the legendary composer Miklos Rasa? And as our story unfolds, keep your gaze keen for the subtle homage paid to the original Sinbad films through charming Easter eggs hidden amidst the dunes of celluloid. So, my fellow traveler through time, as we set sail on this voyage of knowledge, let us not forget those cherished recollections of our maiden encounter with Sinbad's world, for it is in those recollections that the film finds its true magic, forging a connection that transcends eras. And now, as the curtain rises once more, revealing the secrets that lie beneath the surface, we beckon you to join us in exploring the hidden gems that illuminate the golden voyage of Sinbad. And all of this, dear reader, is merely the beginning of our journey, a journey into the heart of facts and revelations that will elevate your appreciation of this cinematic gem. So, tighten your grip on the compass of curiosity, for the winds of knowledge are at our back, propelling us toward the horizon of discovery. But enough with the preamble, let us embark upon this expedition into the realm of cinema's past, where treasures of trivia await, each more captivating than the last. So, without further ado, let us hoist the anchor of information and set forth, guided by the stars of insight. And now, with the map of anticipation spread before us, our sails billowing with intrigue, we shall chart our course through the riveting truths that illuminate the golden voyage of Sinbad. Hold fast, for the voyage is about to begin in earnest, a journey not only through the film itself but also through the corridors of its creation, where the hands of artists and the currents of fate intertwine to birth a legend. But alas, time is fleeting, and our expedition must commence post-haste. Join me as we unfurl the parchment of history and dive into the ocean of knowledge, where every drop is a revelation, every wave a story. Buckle up, fellow traveler of tales, for the voyage is about to begin, and what an adventure it promises to be. Ready your senses, steady your heart, and let us sail back to an era where magic found its home on the silver screen. And so, without further delay, let the odyssey of facts and wonders, the chronicle of the golden voyage of Sinbad, unfold before us like a long-lost map leading to buried treasure. Arise, intrepid explorer, for the voyage is upon us, a voyage not only through the movie itself but through the riveting tales that paved its way. So, with hearts alight with curiosity, let us dive into the hidden depths of this cinematic marvel, unearthing gems of knowledge and anecdotes that gleam as brightly as Sinbad's fabled treasure. Let the journey begin. Ahoy, dear reader, and welcome aboard this vessel of enlightenment. Cast your mind back to that unforgettable encounter with the golden voyage of Sinbad. The yearning for adventure stirred within you as the reels transported you to realms unknown. Can you still taste the salty breeze of anticipation, the thrill of uncharted waters in your veins? Now, as we brace ourselves to navigate the intriguing waters of facts and anecdotes, remember that same spirit of discovery that once captured you. The horizon is adorned with insights about this classic, waiting to enrich your perception. So, without further ado, let us set forth on this voyage of knowledge and wonder. Prepare to be dazzled, for the tale that follows is... Golden Voyage of Sinbad Unveiled, behind the scenes with Ray Harahasen's Dinorama Marvel in the Annals of Cinematic Enchantment. The year 1973 etches a dazzling mark with the legendary The Golden Voyage of Sinbad. A voyage that transcended traditional filmmaking techniques, this swashbuckling fantasy took audiences on an immersive journey into a world of mythical creatures and daring exploits. At the heart of this cinematic marvel was Ray Harrihausen's groundbreaking stop-motion effects, a spectacle now famously referred to as Dinorama. But here's the scoop, as this opulent adventure unfurled, the meticulous artistry of Dynamation, a term synonymous with Harrihausen's wizardry, underwent a subtle evolution. Enter Dinorama, a reinvention of his acclaimed technique that breathed life into ancient legends. This name shift, a nod to the film's grandeur, signaled a new era of Harrihausen's craft. Dinorama, much like the film itself, shimmered as an epitome of innovation. Yet, a tale of friendship and cinematic intrigue lingered behind the scenes. Robert Shaw, renowned for his charismatic roles, left an indelible mark in the film's shadows. A confidant of producer Charles H. Schneer, Shaw reluctantly stepped into the role of the Oracle of All Knowledge. A favor turned performance, Shaw's stipulation was unconventional, no credit. His voice was woven into an otherworldly timbre, his visage concealed beneath layers of makeup, all for a mere 20 minutes of screen time. 
a reflection of Shaw's stature. This enigmatic portrayal became a whispered secret among the industry's elite. Delving deeper, a revelation unfurls about a forsaken sequence, the tantalizing Valley of the Vipers. Ray Harahausen's creative genius envisioned this sequence as a mesmerizing convergence of real and animated snakes. Yet, a most unexpected twist emerged. Charles H. Schneer, a producer with an inexplicable fear of snakes, foiled the scene's conception. A clash of creative vision and phobia, it's an ode to the intriguing dynamics that underscored the film's creation. In the radiant tapestry of the golden voyage of Sinbad, the interplay between visionaries and happenstance swirled in a dance of innovation, friendship, and uncharted territories. Harryhausen's dinorama echoed the film's themes, a fusion of old and new, mythical and tangible. From behind the scenes to the silver screen, this opulent odyssey continues to captivate, a testament to the enigmatic allure of the golden age of cinema. Ma, 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 ma. The Golden Voyage of Sinbad, a swashbuckling fantasy film directed by Gordon Hessler, continues to captivate audiences with its enthralling tale and groundbreaking special effects. Among its intriguing behind-the-scenes secrets lies a remarkable fabrication. As Sinbad and his intrepid crew set foot on the mystic shores of Lemuria, a breathtaking cliff adorned with intricate carvings frames the beach. Yet, this dramatic cliff, as confessed by Ray Harahausen in an interview, is a masterful illusion. Contrary to appearances, the rocky precipice was no more real than the mythical creatures it shared the screen with. In truth, the scene materialized on a sun-kissed Spanish beach, with the cliff's grandeur added later via the artistry of matte painting. This ingenious ruse artfully concealed the unwitting beachgoers who had inadvertently become spectators of Sinbad's voyage. Remarkably, the golden voyage of Sinbad played a pivotal role beyond the silver screen. The film unwittingly steered the course of television history, contributing to the casting of Tom Baker as the fourth Doctor in the iconic series Doctor Who. As serendipity would have it, producer Barry Letts attended a screening shortly after Baker's name was recommended for the role. The film's charisma and Baker's enigmatic presence evidently aligned, leaving an indelible mark that influenced Baker's journey through time and space as the enigmatic Time Lord. Ray Harahausen, the creative genius behind the film's mesmerizing stop-motion animation, cemented his legacy with the golden voyage of Sinbad. This cinematic gem marked the second of three Sinbad escapades he crafted for Columbia Pictures. With his prior legendary work in the seventh voyage of Sinbad and subsequent contributions to Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger further solidifying his reputation as a master of visual enchantment. In the annals of cinema, the golden voyage of Sinbad stands not only as a thrilling odyssey of heroism and magic but also as a testament to the art of cinematic illusion and its reverberations across diverse realms, from television casting choices to the evolution of a cinematic legacy. It's a tale of far more than a voyage, it's a story of how a single film can leave an indelible mark on the tapestry of entertainment. Three of entertainment. Three of enter Ray Harahausen's 1973 cinematic gem, The Golden Voyage of Sinbad, a fantastical adventure that swept audiences off their feet, now reveals an intriguing and told tale of its creation. Among the enigmatic creatures that grace the screen, the griffin battling the one-eyed centaur held secrets of its own. Initial concept art, etched in charcoal pencil by Harahausen himself, unveiled a startling twist. The griffin was initially envisioned as a Neanderthal man. This Neanderthal concept would later evolve into the iconic troglodyte featured in Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger, solidifying its place in cinematic history. But that's not all, the film's casting process was equally riveting. The eminent Christopher Lee, revered for his roles in the horror genre, emerged as a frontrunner for the coveted role of Kura, the sinister sorcerer central to the plot. Though the role eventually found its match in Tom Baker, the very idea of Lee's potential involvement tantalizes the imagination, leaving us to wonder about the alternate path not taken. The Golden Voyage of Sinbad also harbors a subtle tribute to its cinematic ancestry. Hera Hassan, a master of his craft, paid homage to The Thief of Baghdad, a film that inspired his own artistic journey. Both films shared a composer, but it was the intricacies that truly resonated. Holly's dance in Golden Voyage mirrored the rhythmic movements of the six-armed robot in the 1940 classic. Echoes of design, motifs, and inspiration reverberate throughout, linking these two timeless tales. In the intricate Hindu-style carvings of Lemuria and the mesmerizing appearance of its inhabitants, traces of the Thief of Baghdad can be discerned, a secret homage only the keen-eyed would perceive. This interwoven cinematic lineage adds a layer of depth that enriches the viewing experience for those attuned to the whispers of film history. With revelations about the Griffin's genesis, the specter of Christopher Lee's near casting, and the delicate tapestry of influences, the golden voyage of Sinbad continues to shimmer as a prime example of the captivating, enigmatic world Ray Harahausen envisioned. Remember, beneath the surface of cinematic brilliance lies a realm of untold stories and inspirations, ready to be discovered by those who seek them. And so, the golden voyage of Sinbad remains an immortal voyage through imagination and creativity, leaving its mark on the annals of film history. Annals of film history. As the final curtain falls on our journey through the mesmerizing realms of the golden voyage of Sinbad, the tapestry of adventure and wonderment that this cinematic gem weaves in our hearts is nothing short of enchanting.
The yearning for grandeur, the allure of uncharted territories, and the indomitable spirit of Sinbad and his crew have etched an indelible mark on the canvas of our imagination. As you ponder the labyrinthine twists of fate and the kaleidoscope of fantastical creatures that grace the silver screen, you are invited to delve into the treasure trove of your own memories. How did the film's radiant magic intertwine with your life's voyage? Did the awe-inspiring landscapes beckon you to dream beyond the horizon? Did the clash of heroism and villainy kindle sparks of bravery in your heart? Maybe it was the flicker of nostalgia as you revisited this masterpiece, or the euphoria of introducing it to the next generation, watching as their eyes widened with the same wonder that once embraced you. The symphony of memories tied to the golden voyage of Sinbad is as diverse as the treasures collected by the eponymous hero himself. In the tapestry of stories that define us, the golden voyage of Sinbad has woven its threads, glistening with the resonance of our personal odysseys. So, dear adventurer, seize this moment to share your own chapter, your unique connection with this timeless tale. Unfurl the sails of your thoughts, let them catch the winds of reminiscence, and journey forth to the shores of memory. With a heart full of gratitude for the moments we've shared and the memories we've kindled, I extend my thanks to you for embarking on this reflective voyage. Your time, your memories, and your reflections are the compass points that guide the legacy of this cinematic masterpiece forward. Until we meet again on the shores of imagination, may your thoughts be as boundless as the sea itself. The sea